Salam Alaikum, I suppose, because today we are talking about the Egyptomania. Uh, this is a uh, Mont Blanc pen. This is not their super fancy uh, uh, Egyptomania, which has a nice overlay. No, this is a kind of a simple toned down uh, pen by Mont Blanc that I think has some very nice features. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. And I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, the Egyptomania. It comes in this box. There's a little white outer sleeve. Uh, and then you have uh, this box, which I like. It looks definitely a bit vintage, uh, which, which I think is, is very nicely done. In that cardboard box is the actual box as well as the booklet. Uh, the booklet has information on the pen. This is the, um, they have this version as well, which I think is very pretty. Uh, there is also, as always, there's a bit of a, a service and care guide here, which, which is nice. My, it's a piston filler, so it's nice to, to explain to people how to take care of it. We have the box, the simple uh, sort of clamshell box, right? Okay, let's talk about the pen. I'll zoom in a bit. Here we have the pen, it's made of precious resin. And here we have a Pilot Metropolitan, just for size comparison, you see that they're not very different in size. This is a somewhat skinnier Mont Blanc. If we compare it to this great character's Elvis Presley by the same brand, then you see what I mean. It's, it's quite um, a bit, bit skinnier. Okay, so this is an octagonal pen like the Mont Blancs from the 1920s, um, which some of them actually included Egyptian engravings. Think of the Rouge et Noir, the original Rouge et Noir. Uh, it's, it was a period when, when Egypt was kind of an interesting hot thing um, from a, from a uh, cultural historical perspective. So Mont Blanc kind of went back to those roots of the 1920s and came up with this particular model. So, there are a couple of things about this pen that I think are really nicely designed. It definitely looks vintage because of the way they made the, the clip and the finial look. So the finial actually is not white for once, which is quite interesting. Uh, and then you have the clip, which has a little scarab at the end. Um, the scarab is not arbitrary because it's a symbol for the human heart and immorality. Sorry. <laughs> Immortality. Precious resin. Now, um, we continue the barrel straight down. We have the piston turning knob. It is an extra fine uh, nib. And then here on the cap, I think it's, it's quite interesting. You have these hieroglyphs in a cartouche. Uh, the cartouche was traditionally reserved for the name of kings, so there must be something very royal in this cartouche, and it is, because it says White Mountain, in other words, Mont Blanc. Yeah. Moving on, we have the section, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, it has a... a uh, I was going to say, I hadn't, I hadn't even noticed it before, um, but there is a bit of tape there, which undoubtedly is to keep that section pristine. I'm sorry, I, I, I really hadn't noticed it. Interesting. I've been writing with it, but I hadn't, I hadn't noticed that. It's just when the light strikes it like this. Anyway, I will leave that on because this is just a loner. Um, then we have the nib, which I have to admit I think is very pretty. It's not a huge nib, um, but it's, uh, it is it is 14K. It has Mont Blanc in it. I'll make sure there's a close-up picture. But there is a scarab in it with wings behind it. And it looks very cool. I do really, really like that. So that, that is very neat. And then there is, of course, the, the uh, feed. Um, and as you can see, the whole pen is not huge. Uh, it, it doesn't post, sorry. It definitely doesn't post if you use the wrong side of the cap, but if you use the proper side of the cap, it, it will not post. So there is that. Let's see what we can do when we write with this pen. I will zoom out a little bit. So here we have the Mont Blanc 
Egyptomania. I point out this was not a skip. That was me uh, lifting the pen off the paper. Uh, this is an extra fine nib. Not my favorite, but you know that I like broad on nibs, so I'm not... I mean to each their own, obviously. It is the water on Florida. Sorry, it's Serenity Blue. I didn't have any Mont Blanc ink. Um, it's fine. It's It's very fine. And that's exactly what it should be if it's an extra fine. But bear in mind, you, the camera microphone always picks up this particular frequency very well, so it sounds very scratchy. I wouldn't call it scratchy. It's, it is an extra fine. There is going to be feedback, but it's not unpleasant. I just want to point that out. Yeah, very interesting. Um, for a nib that is this fine, I find it relatively wet, which is nice. It's a, it's a pleasant writer. Um, there is something fancy that I find interesting. It This is out of the box, and it, it almost looks like an architect grind, because you have the fine downward lines, and then the somewhat broader side strokes. So I could now be very interesting and say, you know, an architect grind is also known as an Arabic grind and Egypt now writing in Arabic, maybe, I think it's an absolute coincidence, but it's kind of fun because it's, it's an architect style nib, which does work very well for print writing. So I don't know if all the extra finds are like this has a very interesting sharp tip. I'll try to take a good picture of that for the website. Okay, so, but but beyond that, um, there is a bit of springiness. Now, it is a loner. You're always very careful with this, but I'm trying to be particularly careful. Um, you can actually get a bit of line variation out of it. It is a somewhat soft nib. However, bear in mind, it's not advertised as, as a flex nib, so please be very careful. Um, reverse writing. Uh, no, 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 that's dreadful. I'm not doing that. <laughs> that's a needle point and it feels incredibly scratchy, so I'm not going to go there. Very interesting. There are some things that I really enjoy about this pen and some things I don't really. Let's talk about likes and let's talk about dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about the Egyptomania? I think it has some, some things going for it. It's a slim pen, which is typically not my favorite, but I mean, that's very personal matter. Some people really like slim pens. I think that's some cool stuff. Uh, it's it's simple. There is that fancier model with a metal overlay with hieroglyphs on it, but you just have the little bit of hieroglyphs there. And I, it's understated. And to be honest, I kind of like that. The shiny black resin uh, with this nice sort of dull, it almost look like, looks like a bronze, uh, which I think looks good. It, it, it looks vintage. It feels vintage, uh, and, and I think that's nice. It's, if you were to ask me, based on all this, especially from a distance, does this remind you of Egypt, Egyptomania? I would probably say no. You have to really kind of study it, and you'll see the hieroglyphs on the scarab and those kinds of things. But it's a fairly interesting pen. It is a bit small. It is fairly narrow. Uh, I, I will say that. Uh, the nib I have found to be, for me, one of its main selling points. I like the looks, but the nib is very pleasant to write with. I'm not an extra fine person, but it's fun. And because that, that slight architect feel that it, it has, it has a nice bit of line variation, uh, which, which I think is, is, is nice. It's not cheap, $820 at Applebaum, that's about 690 euros without the 21% VAT. So it's, it's an expensive pen, but it's a Mont Blanc, and it's a, it's a special Mont Blanc. You know that, that will, uh, you will pay for that, whether that's the, the value is fully there or not. That's up for you to decide. I will say it's a nice pen, piston filler, good writer, and that's typically, I think, what most of us would buy a pen for. And if you have a particular affinity with Egypt, it's a very collectible, you know, Egyptian artwork and such, then absolutely this would be a very cool addition to, to any collection, I think. 
So I enjoy it. I think it's a nice pen. Uh, I thank Applebaum for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.